Congratulations those who are designing thumbnails and creating videos on CapCut. CapCut has recently announced a new feature to design your thumbnails. I'm doing it on my mobile phone and later on I will bring you to the MacBook screen. The procedure is 100% similar. So just to teach you here on CapCut, I'm going to open a new project and here you will see a cover. Once you click on this cover, you will be referred to a new app and instead of just going this place so go to your app store here and here you can type hypic this is the app you can download if you didn't download then the CapCut will ask you to download itself then you need to click on the bottom right corner hypic and it will bring you to the hypic app and here you can choose an image from the existing image or you can upload your own new image so let's go to the laptop screen now and i'm doing rest of the procedure there on your macbook you can open any project whatever you are working and you want to create for example thumbnail out of this one click to edit your cover and once you click this part you will be referred to this one and here you can take any picture out of your video for example i want to take like this picture here then i can create and design a thumbnail but there is a better solution recently announced by capcut we are not creating this one I will capture another video about this one this thumbnail is also awesome but with the help of CapCut Hypic app we are gonna go to create this one now let's go to your play store on mac devices and here you type Hypic and you will come to this place and download and install Hypic once you open your Hypic app it will look like this all right so here is an important thing for the macbook users you have to go to your finder and here go to your pictures and whatever pictures you are using for your background you should place them in the photo album otherwise they will not appear in your hypic app this is the default folder for hypic app all right so we're gonna create a thumbnail with the help of this capcut logo and this laptop and this is a background we have chosen these three pictures and i have already designed this thumbnail here remember this app works same on your mobile phone and macbook as well and the pc users can also try this app because i didn't try okay once you land on this app you need to go to import and here are the pictures i just put in the gallery here first of all i'm gonna import my background this is 1920 by 1080 background now first of all we need to bring some logos what you need to do just go scroll and import picture and here is my CapCut logo as a png and you can also remove the background here and erase and do the basic settings put another picture whatever i needed for this thumbnail select this one and erase the background as well all right so our logos are here and now we can just place them anywhere we like i want to place it here now if i want to apply some shapes here you can apply some shapes rectangle stars and anything i like you can see a lot of different options templates are also given here and in the portrait section you can see that you can do makeup if there is a picture this is also a huge software for picture editing like fireflies in adobe you can design anything you like in the filter section you can apply any filters to your thumbnail background or any image for example i just gonna take this one and i go to any of these uh, adjustment and blend option and saturation and vibrance i want to change look if i change it will look like this and if i go to this one it will look like that and if you want to change the shape and you want to also just like temp you want to increase or decrease it's really awesome and then you want to import some shapes here you can rotate this one anytime i bring it here rotate it like that put it on my thumbnail like this put it here and now you can change the color of this shape any color you like for example this one now let's go to the important factor that is text in the text there are tons of different templates given here and you can import fonts as well and you can select any font you like and you can also choose the style first i have chosen this one as you can see in my thumbnail later on you will see just keep it there and resize this one this is done here and now if i go to text again i can write my own text smaller i want to place it here and now i can go to font 
I can choose any font for example this font looks great and in the style section I can color it in the meantime I can choose from the styles here for example it looks more visible I can make it bigger like that and I can place it there you can try there are so many options here then I can duplicate as well or simply click on this one and then go to text again and I can write here cap cut place it here and I can now go to style and any style I like for example let's say this is my cap cut style very simple like in five minutes you can create a thumbnail and now if you go to the edit option and order option there are different layers you can choose which layer you want you want to bring something like front or backward or anywhere you want to place you can place and let's come to the filter section you can apply filter to the background or if you want to import any of your picture there is an awesome tool you must know about this tool that is similar to adobe ai okay let's say i want to take one filter from this place this one right so i agree here you can create your own images this is the beauty of this one double click on this one and now little bit changes you want to create and here you can type a prompt for example i need a table a chair lamp ultra hd studio room i just give this prompt just to teach you you can give any prompt to design any picture now click on start and bring this one here look what it has designed for me you can design anything you like right it's not so good but the thing is you can design your own pictures you don't need backgrounds as well everything is pre-designed you just need to arrange them according to your needs and you can here press ok and it will be your background okay in the brush section you can choose different brushes for example you want to you know do a brush here like that choose any brush you like and in the meantime you can remove the background of any picture you can import your own picture and here are tons of different shapes and you can change the color of the shape and remove the background here as well so you can say goodbye to canva and here as everything is aesthetic stunning and awesome itself in the cap cut so congratulations now your thumbnails are you know going to the next level well if you like this video then thumbs up and subscribe and uh, keep doing keep making mistakes you will learn from those mistakes and make awesome thumbnails that are clickable get to the next level of video editing and if there is any suggestion any kind of question you always hit me up then i'll respond as soon as possible i'll see you in the next one Bye bye